My name is Ed Newton Rex. I'm the founder of an AI company called Duke Deck. We're building an artificially intelligent musical composer. My background is I am a composer. I spent the entirety of my childhood and university time composing music. I was a chorister in the choir of King's College, Cambridge for many years. And after that came back to Cambridge University to study music. When I graduated from university where I'd been focused on music theory and the perception of music, I started thinking to myself, I wonder why computers can't compose music yet, and I wonder what it would mean if they could and what the amazing experiences are that would be made possible. So I decided to start Duke Deck as a result of that. Really before AI was in its current state of huge popularity. When we started in 2010, I was a music graduate. I knew very little about AI and I wasn't even, I wasn't thinking about this as AI as such. I wasn't thinking about it as a product. I was thinking about it as sort of the next frontier that I thought was achievable and I couldn't understand why it hadn't been done. So I thought I'd try to make it work. And so what that means is we've had a lot of time to build a really good team of researchers. We are all musicians. The most of the team, which is 18 people, around 15 of those are engineers. Now these engineers are a few different types. Um, on the one hand we have uh, AI researchers who are building our core artificial intelligence system. On the other we have software engineers who are experts in music production. And then we also have engineers who focus on our product, on our full stack, on our infrastructure. So to, to dive into one group as an example, our researchers are generally people who are both expert in artificial intelligence, machine, uh, sorry, music information retrieval and other, other fields, but also expert musician. More and more content is being made. People are making their own videos, they're making games, they're making podcasts, they're making all sorts of things that need music. But traditionally it's been almost impossible to find music that will fit those videos. Um, you know, you can go onto stock audio libraries and download music, uh, but then you have to sort of manually edit it and, and play around with it. It's very hard to do. What we can provide is a system that provides any video creator with a unique piece of music that is fit to the right length of their video or their game or whatever they're making, but also that does what they want it to do. So if you want the music to climax in a certain place because that's where your video climax is, you can ask it to do that without any musical knowledge. So that's one problem we solve, which is for creators of media and other content. But the other problem that we're looking to solve is in music creation. We're looking to help more people get into the music making process. In general, in throughout history, music making has been something that is sort of confined to a, a small group of people who have a significant education in music. Now that's a great thing in many ways, but what we're seeing is that more and more people would like to get into the music making process, but aren't experts. They want to be making music on their computer. Maybe they want to record a tune they've written, but they don't know what the chords should be that go with it because they don't know anything about chords. We hope that by building Duke Tech, we're building a system that can help particularly amateur music makers, but also some professionals as well, to help them with elements of the music creation process that perhaps either they're not expert in or they want some inspiration in. Our research team are focused on a whole bunch of different things. We are building this artificially intelligent composer. What that means is using neural networks and trying to figure out what the best way is of uh, getting neural networks to understand how to compose new music. It's not that we have to figure out what the models are that we need to put in place that will best capture an understanding of music. We've recently completed some work on musical structure, so we came up with a way of improving the short-term musical structure in a piece, making repeats more likely to happen. We are working on the audio production, so the sound of the music. So one element is how the, the musical score is put together, but the other half is how it sounds. We've just finished a whole big body of work that has actually made our music sound much more professional because we've introduced a concept that's known as routing, which essentially is a way of channeling audio around a system to be able to make it sound more full and more professional. What we've focused on is building a model that can generate decent sounding music, music that makes sense and is good enough for backing videos, is good enough for games, is good enough for podcasts. 
we are now starting to get to the level where some people are interested in using our music for actually listening to directly, which is the next step. But this does take a whole new level of how emotional the music is. We haven't done specific research on how to properly capture emotion, but rather what we do is we try to build a system that can most effectively capture the ideas inherent in a body of training data in, in a bunch of pieces of music so that that system can then generate new music that is similar to that training data. With our belief being that if you can do that, then you can capture some, if not all, of the emotion that is present in that training data. But I think it's important to bear in mind that we don't think that AI composed music will ever really manage to capture that same level of emotion that a piece by your favorite pop artist might capture. But that doesn't matter that that's not captured. We can still provide something very useful without kind of diving into to so much emotion. There are many challenges of AI music. We are working towards building a universal composer that can compose music in any style. That's not something we can do yet. We have 14 or 15 styles available on our website. So we have a huge number of styles yet to, yet to master and building a single system that can master all of those is a hard thing to do. Long-term memory is a difficult thing for music systems. It's a difficult thing for AI systems in general. It's very important in music. You have to have a really good idea of what the overall musical form is. Uh, we, we're all musicians ourselves. We don't want AI music to replace human composed music and we don't think it will or can. What we do think it can do is be an incredibly useful tool. When you have any AI system that can, that can perform tasks in some way similar to what a human can do, maybe that's a voice control system or a calendar scheduling system or an emailing system or a system for shopping or a music system. When you have any of these systems that can understand music or understand any other factor of what humans do in their day-to-day -day lives, those systems can be used to help people who wouldn't usually have access to those kinds of things. So we see the future of AI music being a future in which the music keeps getting better and better. It will get, we think, very good and very varied. Or, and this is where we're particularly excited, we think it will be used by musicians to help them in their creative process. Maybe they need a melody harmonized. You know, maybe they need an idea for a, a bit of inspiration for where they should go next. We just finished sort of working on what we consider the second version of our system, which we think is sounding really good. And the next stage of our plan is to really take this out to market and be doing some of these things that have traditionally been in our longer term plans, things like assisting musical creativity, which we haven't been able to do up till now. I think the UK is a really good place for music AI, and that's really because the UK is very good at both of those things. It's very good at music, and it's very good at AI. You know, on the music side, we have some brilliant educational institutions in the UK, ranging from, you know, things like the Royal College of Music, the Royal Academy of Music, to some of the universities like Cambridge and Oxford, to some of the universities here that focus more on the technical side. And we also have a huge music scene, which is arguably unsurpassed in the world. Similarly, the UK is, very good place for AI. Uh, in particular in our field, music information retrieval, there are some brilliant universities here in London, Queen Mary, City University, Goldsmiths, these are all great universities for this field. But similarly, you know, you start to have some, some big AI companies coming out of London like DeepMind. But we feel it's a fairly unique place for the specific combination of skills that is important for our team. Those being music, music theory and music production knowledge and an artificial intelligence knowledge.